Has Been Hotel and Hell of a Boss take place in Hell, which of course means that there are Earthborn demons that had to have sinned at some point in their mortal lives to end up there. This raises some questions about just how high the standards are for getting into Heaven, which sins specifically get you sent to Hell, and to what degree forgiveness plays a role. My name is Deep Cut, this is Cartoon Universe, and today we're going to talk about which sins send you to Hell in Has Been Hotel. But before we jump into it, I just want to remind you guys to click on the subscribe button and you might as well do it, I'm not gonna stop asking, and resistance is futile. Now, Hell is presented in Has Been Hotel as being rooted in Christian mythology, as evidenced by its mostly Christian icons such as Satan, Lucifer, and even references to lesser-known demons like Stolas of the Goetia. While Visipop has said that other religions will play a role as well, the Abrahamic religions are certainly the basis for it. With that in mind, I believe that means that the recent reveal of the seven princes of hell within the show, each representing one of the seven deadly sins, is the basis for how characters will be judged within the show. While the seven deadly sins are popular in Christian mythology, they are not exclusive to it, and people from other cultures or religions, or even people without religion at all, can accept their premise as immoral even if there is some debate surrounding their nuance. So let's break those down in relation to the characters in the show. First, let's start with Wrath. Wrath, in its most basic definition, is just a synonym for anger, and being angry isn't just enough to send you to hell, but what you do because of that anger is what could damn you. At the top of the list is murder, the act of killing someone simply because they have angered you in some way. We see this in Hell of a Boss's first episode, where a school teacher who seemingly lived an otherwise perfectly wholesome life ends up in hell because she murdered her husband for cheating on her, as well as tried to murder his mistress. Now, murder and killing aren't exactly the same thing, as you can kill someone in self-defense, but that is not murder. Nor is execution in the name of justice and protection of others. I don't imagine that the rules are arbitrary and you're expected to follow them at the absolute detriment of yourself, but rather if you are killing someone for negative and entirely personal reasons, reasons that aren't crucial to protect yourself or others, then it is likely going to get you sent to hell. It is likely sinful enough to send you to hell to use your wrath to prey on others in less violent ways as well, such as a parent abusing their child. I think context really does matter here. Moving on to sin number two, greed. Now everyone needs to make a living, and simply wanting more or even working towards more probably isn't going to get you sent to hell. But knowingly exploiting others to their detriment in order to acquire more wealth is likely going to do the job. For instance, we know that Angel's family is in hell because of their mob dealings. While a lot of this may have to do with murders that happen because of their crimes, I imagine they would still end up here if they had managed to do with their dirty dealings without actually directly killing anyone, as providing drugs to the vulnerable for profit, thus helping them to ruin their own lives, probably counts as sinful enough to go to hell, particularly on a scale as large as a mob. Simply working hard at a company to make and hoard your own wealth isn't going to get you sent to hell. It may also be sinful for your greed to exploit your consumer base in a negative way. When it comes to the three V overlords, Vox, Velvet, and Valentino, you'd imagine that the adult films Valentino produces might exploit its employees negatively, but Vox and Velvet are just known for producing TV and social media at the moment. Things I don't imagine are sinful to consume outright or even to produce, but can be done with evil intentions. Theft, of course, likely falls under this sin as well. And now number three, gluttony. When most people think of gluttony, it is because of an overabundance of food, but this was during a time when food wasn't as plentiful as it is today. To be a glutton would mean to overindulge, often at the expense of others, but it is a bit less relevant today, even with less developed nations facing food shortages. Instead, I think that gluttony in Has Been Hotel likely has more to do with alcohol or drug abuse, or overindulgence of any kind that is a detriment to your life and those around you. I don't imagine being a low-key alcoholic or stoner is going to send you to hell, again, even if it may be considered sinful in the show, but if you died from an overdose or spent your entire life on stuff as strong as what Angel smokes, it would likely get you sent to hell. Number 4, Pride. Pride is a bit of a tough one to field in today's day and age. I don't think that simply being proud of yourself or your accomplishments is enough to go to hell, but I think people who overindulge to the point where their pride comes from thinking they are better than others and treating them accordingly is what damns you. 
Someone who brags about their accomplishments is probably fine, but someone who lords it over other people and treats them like garbage because of it, not so much. Breaking a rule or law that you have deemed to be unfair, even if you might be wrong, probably isn't going to be too sinful. But breaking a rule or law simply because you believe that you are above those rules while others need to follow them is probably a sin. Sin 5, Sloth. This one's a bit tricky because it doesn't always feel as relevant to today's time as it did to early developing situations. You could spend a lot of your life simply relaxing and not be harming anyone by doing it, particularly if you come from a family of privilege. But back in early iterations of society, it took a lot of work just to maintain basic living conditions. We didn't have dishwashers, we didn't have vacuums, and even cooking could take hours and hours for something really simple that takes 10 minutes today. With that in mind, I think sloth is something that, these days, mostly affects those with some level of responsibility that shirk it out of pure laziness. A parent who refuses to get a job to support his family, or who simply doesn't take the time to be active in their child's life, are likely going to be sinful enough to go to hell if the outcomes of this are particularly bad for the children, such as someone abandoning their children. It could also apply to people who refuse to help others when they easily have the means, simply because they don't want to take the time or energy to do it. Number 6, Envy. This one's a bit self-explanatory and encompasses a lot. Basically, it's just the lengths you were going to go to because of your envy, theft, sabotage, or even murder, that dictates if you will go to hell. Simply being jealous of someone isn't going to do it. This leads me to the final sin, lust. Some people have speculated that in has been hell, being not straight is considered sinful, as the overwhelming majority of characters we see aren't exactly heterosexual. Angel is gay, Alistair is asexual, Vaggie is a lesbian, Charlie is bisexual, Moxie is bisexual, Blitz is pansexual, and fantasizes about threesomes, and the list goes on and on. That being said, I think this has more to do with the creator of the show liking diverse lifestyles instead of trying to comment on the morality of those lifestyles. It would seem to me that what makes lust sinful is whether or not it hurts someone else. Is lust your motivation for forcing yourself upon an unwilling participant? Is the driving force in cheating on your partner, your spouse, or what have you? Are you using it just as an excuse to bed your buddy by less than honest means? While being lustful to the point of self-destruction or self-degradation may factor into how sinful it is, I would wager it has more to do with whether or not your lust is directly hurting someone else in some way. But these are just my theories right now. Feel free to let me know if there's any nuance I might have missed, or if there are other sins you think get has-been characters sent to hell that aren't one of the seven deadly sins, and please don't use this as an excuse just to talk about the Bible or other religions or very religion-specific rules but rather morality as it should be applied to the show. Not because we want it to be, but because it's relevant to its lore. That's all I have for now, and I'll see you next time.